coming to you on Thursday, uh, February the 3rd. I uh, hope you're able to stay warm and dry today. I've been talking about the late Margaret Apperson. Uh, she was a good friend of Ellen's. Uh, back in the day, uh, they played in the church softball and basketball leagues. Uh, the theme of her memorial service was a wonderful life. And I mentioned uh, that her life was wonderful because it was full with family and those that she treated like family. It was full with fun. Uh, there is that uh, grandmother showing up on the back of a Harley Davidson motorcycle to play church softball. Uh, Margaret loved to have fun and uh, she took her fun with her wherever she went. Not only was her life full with family and those she treated like family, not only was her life full uh, with fun, but thirdly and foremost, her life was full with faith. Uh, she loved the Lord Jesus Christ. She had a legacy of faith, her folks, mom and pop white. She passed that legacy of faith on to her children and grandchildren, uh, even great, gr even great grandchildren. Uh, also, uh, at her memorial service, it was requested of me that I share the good news of the gospel, which I love to do at a memorial service, just talking about the fact how our sin has separated us from God. Uh, but if we confess our sins, he'll forgive us of our sins. Uh, salvation is not something that we can work for. It's a free gift of grace. Just talk about all of that. Uh, for Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, buried and raised on the third day, according to the scriptures preached the gospel and extended an invitation. Very, very happy to do it. Uh, one of the great things about Margaret Apperson's life uh, was that it was a life that was full with faith. She loved the Lord Jesus Christ. And as a result of that, uh, she has realized the promise uh, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. A wonderful life, a life that is full with family and those we treat like family, life that is full with fun, and a life that is full with faith. Hope you've had a wonderful day. God bless you. Have a good evening.